Hi there, I'm Lindy Mott. Welcome to my home. I'm grateful for the chance to share a little bit uh, of my home with you. This is the Nauvoo Room. It does uh, go chronologically as it wraps around the room from 1839 to 1847. Uh, there's different people and events placed in their proper time and place. Uh, the saints were across the river in Missouri here, coming across the river, healing the sick, draining the swamp. 1842, the first Relief Society meeting here, and 1843, when the mansion house was finished. There's also Joseph and Emma, how they appeared when they led the mustering of the Nauvoo Legion, the annual parade showing the strength and vitality of the Legion. And then Baptisms for the Dead is implied in this corner. And behind you is the zenith of Nauvoo with the temple finished on the hill in 1846 and the uh, uh, Hebrew C. Kimball's home, the business district, and of course you can't do a mural of the Mississippi River without a riverboat, and that's uh, based on a Courier and Ives print uh, there. Uh, and then the Exodus is implied with the covered wagon in the corner there. Uh, the quilt at the ceiling is uh, dated to 1850, and the effect of the uh, painted floor, I also got uh, the idea from history as well. But now I'd love for you to come and uh, see the kitchen. So please come with me. Well, welcome to the kitchen. In the kitchen, I've uh, used a variety of mediums to uh, make different effects because no surface is safe from the, uh, in this house, uh, including uh, this kind of custom chandelier. I made a bunch of different uh, stained glass butterflies, uh, but mostly out of clear glass because I wanted the effect that you see through it as much as you see it, and that way it doesn't overwhelm this rather small space. I like the effect of keeping the blue butterflies at the top, kind of imitating the blue of the sky. You're surrounded by angels in this area. There's the angels on the Hungarian bench and the angels over the corkboard. And I love the marriage of form and function that can happen with the apothecary chest of the spices on the hutch and the open shelving, that things can be on display and be useful and uh, accessible, uh, but still be beautiful and decorative. I made all of the roses that you see here from coffee filters. Uh, and uh, some of the other flowers from uh, different kinds of paper and so forth. Uh, thank you for the chance to show off a little bit of the kitchen. Please come with me now to the library. Welcome to the library. On the floor, I painted a lovely kind of rug effect. I love the large magnolia blossoms and the uh, golden ribbon undulating back and forth. It's breathing really well on the floor. Uh, now I painted the Salt Lake Temple, uh, but I painted the frame on the wall uh, behind it. Uh, as you can see, it fills the space nicely without the uh, heaviness of an actual frame. In the library, you're surrounded by great women. There's Queen Esther on the wall here with the beautiful lotus blossoms as a crown, and Jane Austen belongs on the bookshelves. Uh, with uh, her uh, literary stylings and so forth. I wanted to pay homage to her. And also Mary, the mother of the Savior, is uh, behind you there. I love the vertical elements of this room, the verticality of the stained glass windows and of the grandfather clock. Well, I've been grateful to share a little bit of uh, some of the uh, eye candy, some of the jewelry, uh, uh, house jewelry uh, here in my home. It's, uh, it's my magnificent obsession, and I'm grateful for uh, the opportunity to do this work. Thank you.